Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose. Tonight's episode... On the 28th of February, last day of the month, is episode 76. It may be the last day of the month, but it is not the last episode. However, it will be the last of uh, Vietnam for a little bit. We did two months of Vietnam. We're going to switch into another uh, combat zone, another area of conflict. And I don't know which one it is Yeah, You'll have to tune in uh, in a few days to figure out what that's going to be. But you can go over to our Instagram page, and uh, I'm going to put up a poll on there. Uh, the Instagram handle is Tales of Honor Podcast, all one word. And check out the stories. I'm going to put a poll up there to see which one we should do next. And uh, hopefully I have an answer by Saturday so that I can get some work done. But today's episode is being brought to you by Combat Flip Flops, which is fitting because today uh, we had some nice weather again. And uh, here's the thing about Pennsylvania. If you don't like the weather, just wait. It's going to change in five minutes. Uh, <laughs> yesterday and today were pretty nice. Nice enough for me to bring out my flopperators. And we're supposed to have snow by the weekend. So uh, that's how it works around here. But I love my flopperators. They are very, very comfortable. And uh, any chance I get to bring them out, as long as it's above freezing, I will try to wear them. And uh, they're awesome. I, I, I would want nothing else on my feet and uh, Combat Flip Flops, they are a veteran-owned apparel company, and uh, they're doing good things. Good things. Uh, great things. I would dare say great. They'd probably say good. I'm saying great. What are they doing? Well, they're taking some of the money that you give them for products, and they're distributing it. Where are they giving it to? Well, they're helping educate Afghan women and girls. This is important. Uh, it's been statistically proven that you can fight crime by increasing education, and that is what they're doing over in Afghanistan. Um, it also is going to help uh, remove unexploded ordinances and landmines in Laos, and which some of that, uh, some of the uh, landmines that are being blown up, uh, they are being turned into jewelry, which you can also buy on their website. See the circle of uh, money here; it's it's good, and it's helping a small business owner, and it's. Um, it's also helping keep other people safe. It's good stuff. And they're also supporting the members and families of the special operations community. Um, I mean, it, it, man, it's good. If, if that doesn't give you some stoke and uh, make you happy, then I don't know what will. But uh, what I do know is uh, Combat Flip Flops is flipping the view on how wars are won. Business, not bullets. And now, a tale of honor. Daniel D. Fernandez was born on the 30th of June, 1944, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and grew up in Los Lunas with his two younger brothers and sister. He joined the U.S. Army in 1962 and was on his second deployment to Vietnam in 1966 with Company C, 1st Battalion, 5th Infantry Regiment Mechanized, 25th Infantry Division. It was his actions on the 18th of February, 1966, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads... For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, Specialist 4 Fernandez demonstrated indomitable courage when the patrol was ambushed by a Viet Cong rifle company and driven back by the intense enemy automatic weapons fire before it could evacuate an American soldier who had been wounded in the Viet Cong attack. Specialist 4 Fernandez, a sergeant, and two other volunteers immediately fought their way through devastating fire and exploding grenades to reach the fallen soldier. Upon reaching their fallen comrade, the sergeant was struck in the knee by machine gun fire and immobilized. Specialist 4 Fernandez took charge, rallied the left flank of his patrol, and began to assist in the recovery of the wounded sergeant. While first aid was being administered to the wounded man, a sudden increase in the accuracy and intensity of enemy fire forced the volunteer group to take cover. As they did, an enemy grenade landed in the midst of the group, although some men did not see it. Realizing there was no time for the wounded sergeant or the other men to protect themselves from the grenade blast, Specialist 4 Fernandez vaulted over the wounded sergeant and threw himself on the grenade as it exploded, saving the lives of four comrades at the sacrifice of his life. Specialist 4 Fernandez's profound concern for his fellow soldiers at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty are in the highest traditions of the U.S. Army and reflect great credit upon himself and the armed forces of his country. 
Daniel's mother, Laura, and her husband received his Medal of Honor from President Johnson in a ceremony at the White House on the 6th of April, 1967. Daniel was the first of nine Mexican-Americans to receive the medal for actions in Vietnam, and shortly after his death, a newly constructed school in his hometown, the Los Lunas Junior High School, was renamed to bear his name. Since then, the school has been reorganized, but it is still called the Daniel D. Fernandez Intermediate School. A recreational park and facility was dedicated in his honor in 1972, and the local VFW post, as well as the street it's on, bears his name. Daniel D. Fernandez was buried in the Santa Fe National Cemetery, Section S, Grave 246, and his name is engraved on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall, Panel 05E, Row 046. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. Hey, I'm going to ask, and I'll ask this one time. Have you ordered your Tales of Honor podcast t-shirt yet? Don't worry if you haven't. There's still time to do that. Go on over and place your order. It is a comfortable tri-blend t-shirt that will help support the show. It looks fantastic. And uh, 50% of the proceeds are going to go to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. So go do that. Uh, and be sure, obviously, if you like the shirt or if you like the podcast or both, hell, you can do both. Be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell your friends and family. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.